guys, it's Sequoia. Um, I wanted to talk about a dream. It's like it's like five o'clock in the morning. I wanted to talk a dream of that. I wanted to talk about a dream that I had one time. And um, God, it was weird. I had a dream that I was roaming through my town where I live in in Oregon. And, um, I was kind of just going around, and then my father had called me and said, Come home, come home, we, you need to come home. There's, like, a mass storm, like, earthquake shit happening, and I'm like, okay. So I start coming home, and I get back to this apartment that we're in. And, um... He goes out to do something, and I'm sitting watching TV while, like, these tornadoes are starting to hit the town, and I'm just watching TV and trying to be like, okay, stay in the house, it'll hopefully pass over. And more time passed, I sat down, and I went to this table, and had, like, this nice, uh, green gingham print, um, very vintage type of thing. And it was almost calming and weird. It reminded me of my childhood, really. And the longer I waited, the more I realized, like, the storm and everything that was going on around me. And that things were starting to fall apart. There was tornadoes and whirlwinds everywhere. Um, the town was just falling apart, pretty much. The more I looked at my plate of food and more I looked at the TV, I was like, my dad's not coming home. And, um, God, it was, it was very real. It was very real. I sat there and I was like looking out the sliding glass window at the storm, looking at my food. And I'm like, he's not coming home. He didn't make it back. The st I, I knew the storm got to him or something or but that's what I thought at the time when really I actually think I think that um God took my dad and everybody else like everybody got raptured out and I didn't and um Mind you, I don't believe in a post-tribulation rapture. This was just a dream I had. I just had a dream that, um, yeah, my dad, uh, he was gone. It was like he, either he died or he got sucked out of the world or something. My dad wasn't there anymore. And, um, I knew I was alone. It was almost like I was the last person on earth. And it was crazy. Um, I go out onto the back balcony, and I look down off the balcony, and I look at the town. Pretty much all of the city is concaving in into the ground, into lava, so, like, the pits of hell, pretty much, and that's what that dream interpreted. Everything was just crumbling down into flames. There was tornadoes off in the distance, everything was falling apart, and I was this one single human being waiting to get engulfed by these, um, flames and, uh, this lava. And I thought in my head, I was like, okay, this ground is gonna fall into that hole of lava, and I'm here. So, do I, and this is where it got interesting because I was like, if I jump off, I can just end this now. I can just die. I can, it can be done. I'm already gonna die. Um, if I jump into the lava, I'll just be gone. And right when I was about to do it, I thought to myself, but if I kill myself, won't I go to hell? And that's what I was taught as a child, was if you... I'm not saying people who commit suicide go to hell. This was just what I thought in my dream. Um, 
I thought to myself, well, if I commit suicide, won't I go to hell? And so I just sat there, and I was like, I don't want to go to hell. But I didn't realize that God had already came and got everybody. And I get, like, teary thinking about this. It was so intense. And I had this dream when I was, like, probably 16 years old, and I'm almost 22 now. Um, I was sitting there on this balcony waiting for it to just fall into the lava for me to die. And then right as I'm like, okay, this is it, I'm gonna wait. And that's when I was like, I'm gonna wait for myself to die. I chose to die naturally. I did not kill myself. I did not jump into those flames. And after that, everything just started going from uh, very realistic and scary to it, it was like I accepted it and I was like okay and I was like okay with it I went from scary to okay to everything just started turning hazy and light it was like I was leaving that picture um and then all of a sudden I found myself walking down the hall within my house and all of these dark swirls were engulfing around the hallway. It was like this dark matter. But at the end of the hallway, I saw my bedroom door open. It, it didn't open on its own. It was already open. There was just like a crack of sunlight coming through that bedroom window. And like, it was warm. It was safe. I knew I would be safe there. So out of this dark hallway, which was my hallway, I, I walk into this room and it is my room, it is so warm, it is so safe, I'm okay because I'm out of that horrible place and I uncover my covers, I get into my bed and I go, I lay down on my right side and I go to sleep and then I have this quick clip of a flash of a scene of leaving this like cave with water and this really beautiful moon setting on the horizon of the water and then all of a sudden snap I wake up in the same position I woke up in the same position that I went to sleep in in my dream so in my dream I walk down this hallway I go into my room I'm safe I'm okay and oh my stomach's gargling <laughs> I walk into this room, I'm safe, I'm okay and um I go to sleep and I see a clip of water and then I wake up in the same position I fell asleep in in the dream and the room was lit the exact same color as it was in the dream when I walked in and I got up, I shot up out of my bed, I'm like, Dad, Dad, Kayla, and I like look out, I open my window, I look out, and my family's out in the back field, working out in the shop and everything, and everyone's just, everything's fine, I'm in the real world again, and after that, I was like, oh my god, and um, I also ended up drawing these pictures in art class and I gave them to a friend or well what happened was I left them behind my friend who is actually um, very spiritual and very um, she I don't want to like put a label on her but she uh, uses stones and um, chakras and stuff like that she actually snagged those art pieces from the class when I transferred out of that school or I didn't transfer, I graduated um and she kept them and hung them on her wall and when I walked into her room years later I was like, where did you get those? and she was like oh, they were yours, I got them from the art class, blah 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 and I was like uh, I just I was like, dude, this, those were a dream I freaking had and then I told her pretty much what I just told you guys, so yeah, that's that's my uh, dream <laughs> about about being burned 
God in the lake of fire. When you don't choose God, pretty much, I feel. I feel that's what it was. And I thought I'd just share that with you guys. Take care, God bless.